Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Boo Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And this video is dedicated to all the Star Wars shills out there the John Campias, the Colliders, the comic book cast, every single person that went out there and tried to talk about, oh, you know, when it comes to Aquaman, it's not going to do well. The December release is a terrible idea. John Campia actually said several times that the release of, <laughs> of Aquaman coming out in December was a terrible decision and that it would lead to nothing but just terrible numbers for them which is just hilarious seeing that now officially we can indeed say that Aquaman has officially passed the billion dollar mark at the worldwide box office even with all of the hate coming from all of those media shills out there the ones who try and act like they are the purveyors of truth and knowledge and that their opinions mean more to anyone else and yet somehow people still watch them even though they show themselves just to be complete fools most of the time this movie has made a billion dollars now i've gone on record to try and say that when it comes to aquaman i gave it a c plus and i still stand by that rating i've not seen it for a second time though i definitely plan on doing it and i've said from the very beginning i understand why so many people love this movie i can understand why people find it fun find it exciting and are able to connect to it in a variety of different ways i've also said from the very beginning since the very opening week since the first numbers came in from China that this film was indeed going to pass a billion dollars and I had people in the comments calling me out saying man you, you can't say that or no it's not it's not going to even come close etc or oh it might come close but it's not going to cross a billion dollar mark well to all those people who doubted me here is your number here is your official word it has crossed a billion dollars and it's only been out for four weeks which means that this film still has a lot of fuel left in its tank so this is uh, something from Screen Rant. Screen Rant actually broke the news earlier today before the numbers on Box Office Mojo finally updated, and they finally have. And as you see there, and just to give just another update, boom, it has now crossed the billion dollar mark. It is now at a billion and billion dollars and one million. So it's definitely barely over the billion dollar mark, but it's still there. And it also shows us something very important. Look at that foreign total. Look at the disconnect between the foreign market and the domestic market. And this is what I said from the very beginning. The fact that the China opening was so huge, the fact that they even extended its run in China since most American uh, made films tend to only get about four weeks in China before eventually they're taken out of theaters because that's just how things work in the Chinese market. Instead, they gave it an extension because it was making so much money. In fact, it's actually broken records in China as far as being one of the highest grossing films in China, which is just truly amazing. So that is obviously a major part of it but also all the other markets are there on top of the fact it still hasn't even opened in every single market every single time i check it still has not opened up in japan yet and now i know that japan is not going to be the biggest of players but it's still going to be a nice 20 50 million dollar you know 20 to 50 million plus addition to its already huge worldwide domestic gross and this film is also continuing to make money now this is the first weekend that it has not won the domestic box office it did lose the domestic box office to a newer film that came out today or rather came out this weekend called the upside which is interesting because i don't think anyone thought that the upside was going to do as well as it did it was the new movie with kevin hart and brian cranston and they got all this flack because brian brian cranston plays a paralyzed person and they're like oh how dare he take away roles from people who should be getting it instead and then of course the you know the, all the kevin hart hate still exists but this shows you right here that people still want to see a movie starring Kevin Hart and also a movie that's going to be uplifting because guess what? They don't care what critics have to say about most movies. Do critics sometimes sway people on certain movies? I would say, sure, it happens. But I think nowadays, more than ever, you're starting to really see that disconnect that occurs. Because let's just remember for a second that when it comes to... Aquaman. This is still a movie that is not certified fresh by Rotten Tomato standards. It's still at a 64%, and it's still almost like a, you can see that 50-50 split. You know, only 203 gave it fresh, and over 100 people gave it a rotten. So it's more of a 50-50 split. And when you go into top critics, it is a 50-50 split. 19 people thought it was good. 19 people thought it was rotten. Average rating of 5.4 out of 10. And of course, the average rating with all critics is a 6 out of 10. Compare that to the audience score, 79%, 4.1 out of 5 is the average rating. So as I said before, I'm in that C plus range, which is a lot higher than what the uh, what the critics gave it, but it's also a little bit lower than what general audiences gave it. And as I said, I understand why this film is getting so much love because it is fun. It is fun, and also it allows you to escape into a brilliantly crafted 
world. And I've said that from the very beginning. James Wan was able to build a very beautiful world, even though I had issues with some of the CGI in the film. For the most part, I thought the CGI was mostly done well. And it's a lot to do with the fact that James Wan has a lot of experience working with that kind of medium, but also, too, that he understands how to make a fun film. He knows how to get butts in seats, and he has proven that with Aquaman. And it's so funny, going back once again to the shills, like in this video, and please check out at FilmGob for the official video on this because it really is great. It goes through all of the people, the John Campias, the Roca. Oh my goodness. So if there's any person at Collider that just grinds my gears, it has to be Roca because Roca is someone who says stupid things all the time. And then whenever he's proven wrong, he never eats crow. I remember he said a comment about Star Wars and everything was fine, etc. And then something came out about you know, the solo lost money. And, and he, he was coming out trying to say that Solo, you know, was going to do fine. But he never ate crow. He never took back his word on it. And I guarantee you, he's not going to take his word back on this either. So there are him and, and, and the other woman whose name escapes me. Because, I again, I don't really watch Collider all that much. But I, I do follow Roka from time to time just to see what stupid things he's saying. Because there's also probably one of the most political people I've ever seen on Twitter also. Because he's retweeting people all the time. He's talking about uh, Alexander Ocasio-Ortez. He's, you know, bad-mouthing Trump. All these other things. Saying so, staying so political. And also, on top of that, his film reviews are not that great either. So Seeing that he obviously has no idea what general audience is like. He obviously has no idea what he's talking about. Again, as you see, I don't think the pacing was there for me to, there to have enough fun. Well, apparently, a lot of people disagree with you because, again, this is now a billion dollar movie and it's still paced and still set to make more. And how do I know that? Because of this. Look at the current 24 day total of this movie compared to another DC film that, known as Suicide Squad. So, the 24 day total. This has now outpaced Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, as we can see up here, made a total domestically of $325 million. Compare that to where Aquaman is right now with 287. That means that this film, if it stays on pace with right now, it is outpacing this movie. It is outpacing Suicide Squad. By the end of its run domestically, it's going to probably get over $300 million. Keep in mind that next weekend, we've got MLK. So that's going to be a huge money. You know, it's going to be a huge, it's probably going to be the second biggest movie at the box office just behind Glass because we finally get Glass to come out. And it's so interesting to see all of the different, you know, critics come out trying to say, oh, Glass is a disappointment and it doesn't live up. And I guarantee you those, those critic ratings are going to be very low, but I would not be surprised if the audience rating is a bit higher. Obviously, I'm still projecting at this point. It's still ve it's way too early for me to tell, but you know what? At least I will tell you it's too early to tell. Some of these other critic elites, they try to act like they know everything and won't admit when they don't know or can't know something just because they'd rather just, you know, put something out there and see if it sticks. And if they're right, they can say, oh, look, I was right. And not actually, again, eat crow, which again, John Roca, please go ahead and eat some crow right now because once again, you have made a terrible prediction. Once again, you are totally off base and I still don't understand how you have so many followers and how you are working still at Collider. But anyway, guys, what are y'all thoughts on this? As I said before, I was gonna call out the shills. I was gonna call out all these idiots about how they were wrong about Aquaman. Again, as you see, you know, critics, are right there at that 50% margin. Audience score is very high, but this film is obviously reaching people because, again, it's made so much money overseas. And look, it's actually just updated again. So now it's at 1 billion, 20 million. So this film just keeps on making money and is well on pace to outpace and outperform movies like The Last Jedi, which remember, The Last Jedi, Black Panther, were $1.3 billion movies, and yet you heard nothing but praise from critics about both films. Black Panther just won the, uh, the Golden Tomato Award because it was the highest rated film of the year. And yet this film, which was not as highly rated, this film, which did not receive as much love from critics, is once again going to beat this film. As I said before, when the China market came out, when that first weekend came out, I said, this is gonna cross a billion dollars. As the numbers continue to come in, I said, this movie is going to beat The Last Jedi, and I still stand by that point. If it's at $1 billion this weekend, and we've got a holiday weekend coming up, and it's on pace to outpace films such as um, Suicide Squad to make over $300 million here domestically, and it's already on pace to open in other markets and continue to make money in other foreign markets as well, this film is, by the end of its run, going to outpace and make more than The Last Jedi. How much is it going to make? I'm probably going to say maybe it's going to be just a little bit over $1.3 billion, just, just slightly edging it out. But it could very easily reach $1.4 to $1.5 billion when all things are said and done. And as I said before, if I'm wrong on that, I will eat crow, I will say I was wrong, but at this point, 
I'm still waiting for that day. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. It helps me out a lot. You are all amazing and beautiful people. And please let me know your own thoughts about Aquaman and about all the people who gave it so much hate and tried to drive the movie down and try and say, oh, it's going to be terrible and oh, it's going to, it's not going to make any money and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And again, these are people that were saying this before any numbers actually came in. And that was the biggest mistake they could have made. It's the same people that are making the mistake of saying Captain Marvel is going to be a huge success. Isn't it amazing how they said this is not going to be a success and now it's a billion dollar movie, but then they're saying Captain Marvel is going to be a huge success and Captain Marvel is very likely going to disappoint them because, as I said before, it's too early to tell just how well it's going to do because pre-sale pre tickets mean nothing. Solo outpaced Black Panther at one point and look at what Solo did. Solo lost money at the box office. So it's way too early to tell on any of this stuff, but also as well, it depends on how much the movie decides to focus on world building and how much of it decides to focus on telling an agenda-driven story instead. So we will wait to see on that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.